Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we have a few topics to go over, all right? The latest on Tony Romo, prospect update, and uh, something from the league meetings, okay? So, this is a serious conversation. Let's get to it. We're in cap mode, all right? So, that means Tony Romo, all right? This is becoming more of a ridiculous situation than it is serious, but still worthy of cap mode. All right, so this is a this thing with Romo is being dragged on. Um, it's starting to tire on the fans. I think a lot of people just want this to just go ahead and go away. Let Romo just let him go. Let him just release him. This is getting ridiculous. All right, so um, we know he's not going to be with the team. None of these teams are biting. The, mo- the market for the trade uh, was overvalued. There's no market for them. So the Cowboys, they got to do something here, right? So they're going to have to come up with something here, either uh, release him or something because, you know, as we've been talking about here, April 17th is the next milestone. We just passed this milestone here with the league meetings. Nothing happened. No trade. Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones were, un- were unable to close any kind of deals. That's that's pretty big. That's pretty big right there. Uh, no- nothing got done, right? So Romo's still with the team. Uh, the contract is still there, bloated. Um, and now we're heading to the next one, the one where there's going to be some possible awkwardness and more animosity, possibly. The uh, voluntary workouts start on the 17th has been reported everywhere, including here. So... What's going to happen there, right? Or is is what's going to happen there? Are they going to keep holding him and hope for a draft day trade? Jerry Jones has indicated that this could go that there's no deadline, so this could possibly go on until training camp perhaps, which is a uh, kind of crazy. All right, so that's where we're at with Tony Romo. Some prospect news. The Cowboys, they officially met with Terrell Basham last night. That has been confirmed, okay? Uh, The Ohio Bobcats Pro Day was today. The Cowboys were full on hand. Um, Position coaches were there. There's heavy interest in Basham, all right? So Basham is uh, moving up draft boards. A lot of teams are interested in this guy here, okay? So... When this whole thing got started, he was projected as a third, fourth round pick. He's moved up to a second, late first now. So if the Cowboys want him in the second, he may not be there at 60. They would possibly have to move up in the second to get him. And there's more news here that it's possible that he could be taken at 28, all right? So we're talking Terrell Basham. We're talking a defensive headhunter, apex predator. All right. Um, there's still a lot of guys out here, though. You know, there's 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 a lot of defenders here that they got to look through. But there's heavy interest here from the Cowboys. Let's keep an eye on that one. All right. The other news here from the league meetings: instant replay is centralized to New York and Dean Blandino. All right. I don't like this at all. Dean Blandino is a moron. This guy's an idiot. All right. So. It's well documented. This guy's made countless bad plays against the Cowboys. And then when they do the reviews of these plays, he still uh, goes against them. Um, I, don't, I don't trust this guy. And I don't think this is a good idea for the league. I don't know why this was approved. I don't get it. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how they do it during the season with so many teams playing at the same time. How is he going to juggle all of this? Are we going to see more bumbled calls? This is dumb. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, this is gonna. This is more of a. This is more of a beta test for these guys, and hopefully it doesn't mess up the season. We'll see how that goes. So, but that's it, guys. And that's it for the news today. It's kind of slow, but you know we got got these tidbits out here for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. All right, what do you think about uh, the Tony Romo? Where are you at with this? All right, is is enough enough? Is this ridiculous? Is this just getting stupid now? Or do you agree with uh, with Jerry? Do we need to just hold hope until the very end and see if we could grab some kind of draft pick from him or what? What are, what are they doing here? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about Terrell Basham, all right? We did a review here of him. 
recently I'll have a link here to that um, prospect video and um, let me know what you guys think here um, would you feel comfortable with the Cowboys taking him at 28 or would you think he might last till 60 or would they have to move up in the second to grab him if, if that's the guy they wanted well, let me know what you guys think of Basham or any other uh, defensive ends that might fall in that range between the end of the first and second round let me know what you guys think all right and also let me know what you guys think about the centralized replay with Dean Blandino at the helm all right not good all right so that's it guys Please like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate everybody's commentary on all the videos here. Well, great commentary on the draft, on the season here, the offseason. Good stuff, guys. Keep it going. And we'll see you here for the next video. Thanks, guys.